Good morning, everybody. Uh, it's yours truly, James Hayes, uh, here as uh, part of the Man to Man staff. Uh, I will have other staff members join me momentarily. They'll, they'll be right in the just a while. But uh, real quick, before we actually get started about what we're going to talk about today um, as a provider, and we're going to dip a little bit into understanding the child support system. Uh, not a whole lot, but we're definitely going to talk about uh, as a provider. Before we get started, uh, we know that everyone is social distancing and, and we want to encourage everyone to continue to social distance and uh, continue to practice safe habits and uh, let you guys know that for the ones who are, are going through a stressful situation, maybe you're going through a tough time, let you know you're in our thoughts and in our prayers. Also, uh, just a reminder that I know a lot of companies are, are laying off and, and, and are uh, a lot of folks out of work right now, but there are companies that are still hiring. And so if you're looking for employment, man to man is definitely the office to call or the office to visit as far as employment. And, and we'll see if we can fit you with the right type of employment as well. All right. So I got some uh, some uh, other other guests that will be joining me uh, here momentarily. And, and again, we're talking about as a provider and we're also going to dip just a little bit into uh, child support and, and talking about as a provider. The first thing we have to uh, think about or the first question I know many of you would ask is what is a provider? What's the definition of a provider? You know, what do a provider do? What role will a provider feel? Okay. Um, and I guess it's, it's a pretty large role of what is a provider and, and what a provider do. Um, but if you ask me personally, I would say a provider provides, you know, a provider makes sure that uh, the family is taken care of. A provider is there emotionally, mentally, spiritually, as well as financially. That's the provider's role. Uh, Brother Blathers, come on in, join me here. Brother Daniel Blathers, uh, Blathers, a, a man to man in the Florence office, is going to join me. And, and Brother Blathers, we're talking about what is a provider. Um, mm -hmm. You want to fill in on, on what is a provider? Um, a provider, being, being a father and being a provider, you know, is not just monetary. You know, also providing guidance, providing leadership to our kids, um, being a being a mentor to your child, um, also being a great co-parent. You know, being able to work issues out with the mother to be able to provide the best chance for your child to grow and develop, being a productive citizen, um, providing your child with the opportunities to grow, educate, and have the things that they need in life and the opportunities they need. And that's as a provider. Um, and so uh, as a provider, and I, and I ask you this, as a responsible father, what is the role of a responsible father? To be there for your, your child, to be there to give them the opportunities to, like I said, educate, to provide food, clothing, shelter, um, just being there. You know, I, I, I've spoken often in terms of a child is a is like a business, and you and the mother are fifty percent owners. Right. What you invest in is what you will get out. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Uh, so, so to all the, the fathers out there, man, uh, you know, I want to encourage you guys to not give up, not give in. Uh, I know times are tough, but Man to Man Fatherhood Initiative is here for you. Uh, we have an office here in Bennettsville, one ten South Parsons Street in Bennettsville. Florence address is 1321 West Devon Street, and the phone number is 843-676-0407. All right. Uh, and now, uh, talking about investing in children. You know what? Why is it so important to invest in our children? I mean, for one, it's, it's not, sometimes it's not even just for them, it's for us. Absolutely. Because eventually, we're going to get older, That's so true. we got to invest in the next generation. Yeah. So... If you want, you know, America to be positive in a growing aspect, our children is what you got to invest in. Absolutely. And, and, and you know, and I'll be honest, uh, and I actually, I actually asked this question last night to a, a group of people. Why aren't we investing in our children? You know, it seems like we're not investing like we used to. It's, you know, it's like we're letting social media invest in our children. We're letting society invest in our children. But where's our investment? I think it's... Over time, we've lost core values. Mm. We lost family values. You know, um, a lot of kids are growing up in single parent households. But 
that still doesn't neglect the fact that we as fathers need to still step in and participate in that we can't contribute to those factors. Right. You know, you can still teach the power of education to your kids. You know, sure. not just one side of it. Mom is enforcing education. You're enforcing it. You're, a, you're enforcing in what it's like to be a positive citizen, you know, right. being a business person, you know, whatever it is that we we value as men in our role in society, we need to, we can teach it from afar and also in-house. In-house, right. And, and just a quick note, uh, for all you guys who, who are watching the live feed, uh, do us a favor, man. Let us know you're listening in. Hit the like button. Leave us a comment. Uh, for all the participants out there, you guys definitely put your name in the in the uh, comment section and let us know that you're tuned in as well. Uh, we're talking about as a provider and the importance of a provider. Um, we know now, especially during the, the corona outbreak, it's very important for us to kind of stay mentally sharp, so to speak, yeah. because a lot of things right now can uh, can go left real fast as far as you know, we're being in the house. Uh, some of us have been laid off from our job, and there's other different things that's going on with us. Compound on what was already going on. Now you add the coronavirus. And so um, it's important to stay mentally sharp. Uh, Brother Blathers, what can we do as, as fathers mm -hmm. to stay mentally sharp and mentally prepared so that, you know, we don't lose it? Um, I think just now taking time to value our family. Um, you know, there's different activities that you can still do with your kids, find the time to reach our kids, um, join them in games, learn what they like, you know, talking as a family, showing them that, you know, yeah, times are tough, but we can be resilient as a family. You know, a lot of times we try to shield away from our kids, you know, the tough times of life, but what they can learn from us during those tough times is how to bounce back. So, and then also taking personal time, you know, taking time to just meditate, reflect, exercise, build energy, um, reading books, you know, sharpen your mind as the, like I said, as these times are upon us, um, take some time to get your resume together, you know, online education if it's possible, you know, because once all of this is over and hopefully soon that these opportunities are coming back, you know, as far as employment or whatever, we can be ready for it. So right now, I'd like to say it's a time to get mentally tough um, and keep your mind stimulated, body stimulated, right. and, and, and do things, like I say, even with your children to do all these things. Yeah, and, and I like that, and, and I just want to um, uh, elaborate just a little bit as far as providing for the uh, during the COVID season. What as fathers, and I understand it's tough right now, but what can we do, especially during the, the, the uh, COVID-19? How can we still provide? Um, and right now is one of those times to look at our finances, see where we can apply things. You know, I know it's tight for a lot of us right now, but that child still exists. Um, so whether or not it's providing supplies financially, but also providing the mental stability for your children. Um, being active as much as possible, no matter whether or not it's through social media, um, phone conversations, in person, doing activities with your kids, going outside, exercising, walking. Um, right now, that, that's just kind of where we're at in terms of of COVID-19 and, and dealing with this pandemic at the moment, those are ways you can contribute. Yeah. And and I, and, and we, we're going to wrap this up shortly and go into a, another topic, but I just want to encourage everybody out there. Um, we should not come out of COVID-19 the way that we went in. Um, take this time now to definitely, as Brother Blathers was saying, sharpen your skills, sharpen your mind, you know, read more. Prepare your resume. Get your resume prepared. Um, you know, look at other different types of education. There's things that you can go on the internet and read. There are books that you can read. Sharpen your mind so that when we are on the other side of this COVID-19, you come out better than what we went in. And you come out sharper, you come out fired up, and you come out ready to go. 
And so I want to encourage you guys, don't let this get you down. Let it raise you up. All right. Um, so, uh, again, we appreciate everybody for, for jumping on. Now, we're going to shift just a little bit because we're going to talk about child support. And we're going to talk about understanding the child support system better. Uh, now, I know uh, Mr. Blathers here, he, he knows a little bit more about child support than I do. He knows a little bit more about the system. And so I'm not going to pretend I know everything about it. I will refer to him as far as educating us a little bit more about the, uh, the child support system. Well, the child support system has changed. Um, no longer can you go to the courthouse and make your payments. Um, there's a different payment system that is, has been established for fathers that are on child support. Um, if you go into your um, local courthouse or DSS office, there's a pamphlet that they have that gives you instructions on the different ways to pay your child support. Um, I'm just going to read through a few of them so that you have the, the know-how and how to go about paying it. Um, but you can also go online and get the same information. Um, a couple of ways is, one is electronic payment from your bank. You can have an automatic draft. Um, second is a debit card. Um, you can go online to www.e-childspay.com and you will log in just as well and set a password um, and your own personal code to get in. Um, you will also need, and throughout all these payment systems, you will need your membership ID number, which you can get from your caseworker. Um, you can also do it by personal check, send it to South Carolina State Disbursement Unit, PO Box 100302, Columbia, South Carolina, 29202. And also you can do a cash payment through MoneyGram. Um, you can go to, you know, maybe your Walmarts or your CVSs, any place that has MoneyGram and be able to make those payments. Again, you would need your member ID number from your caseworker in terms of your child support. Um, case um and again this is they do pass these out it's the child support payment option for non-custodial parents um and right now we're encouraging our fathers i know it's a tough time right now you may not be able to make your full child support payment but pay what you can um sort of like a good faith payment, good faith payment. um again it's a tough time for all of us but our kids still exist they need to eat they need things that are provided to them just in their household at the moment. Um, another thing with child support, and I know right now you may not be able to do it, but um, I know a lot of guys may think I'm not working right now or even before all this started um, about modification. Modification is a process where your financial situation is reviewed um, and the caseworker will set a court, you know, you set a court court date right now, for you right. to come back and review your financial information as far as you and the mother, and it could be adjusted. Um, there's a filing fee of $150. Um, you get the paperwork from your local courthouse, and you fill it out, submit it back, and then the court date will be set for you in terms of trying to figure out if your child support could be modified. Um, but that's the main thing right now with child support. Um, like I said, again, encouraging dads to do what you can. At this time, I know, like, again, the staff here at Mansion Man, we know it's tough for you. But at the same time, this obligation existed before COVID-19. So we're yeah. just encouraging guys, you know, hey, go out, do as much as you can, if you can, during this time. But Child support is not just financial giving. Child support is being there for your child at this time and explaining things to them, you know, having time to just talk about what's going on, giving your children a better understanding about the situation and the status of America right now, practicing on being safe, teaching your kids values. Again, um, we talked about this in, as a provider, but this is actually, you know, the things we talked about in play. Right. right. That's a real child support. <laughs> child, you know, child support is supporting your kids in all aspects of their lives. Right. So try to do as much as you can at this particular time and, and do what's possible. Stay positive. Be strong. Right. And, and also, I'll add to that, uh, you should also know who's your caseworker, who's your DSS caseworker. Yes. 
And if any changes take place, you know, maybe you got furloughed on your job, you got laid off, you should definitely be contacting your caseworker or trying to contact your caseworker, keeping your caseworker in the loop of what's taking place so that they'll know, okay, well, we didn't see anything this month or this week. So he did let me know that he got laid off or he got furloughed on the job or whatever the case. And, or if, even if you're filing for unemployment, you want to let them know in case unemployment doesn't come this week, it comes next week. Yeah. You want to let them know, say, hey, you know, I, I might can't pay this week, but next week I'll make sure it's there. So you want to keep them in the loop as much as possible. And, and one other thing is also keep in contact with your intervention specialist. Absolutely. You know, let each one of us know that what's, you know, let us know what's going on with you. You know, so if you're not able to relay the information to your caseworker, we can do it for you. It's always a positive thing for your intervention specialist, you know, to know everything that's going on with you. It's not a matter of being nosy, being in your personal business, but there may be a time that we can speak up for you, be able to document things that are going on with you. So therefore, when things start back, we can let your caseworker know exactly what's going on with you. What's going on. And, and also, if you are a participant of Man to Man, uh, please not only uh, comment in the sections, but inbox this uh, inbox Man to Man Fatherhood Initiative and let us know that you were tuning in and give us some insight on uh, what you heard or uh, what you understand and what you didn't understand. Maybe you got some questions. Inbox us those questions and, and we'll try to get back to you. As, as soon as possible. Um, also, uh, one, one other thing, uh, I know there are some links that um, some of our participants may be able to go to, mm -hmm. um, may be able to, to check out, to, to see, or get any other information. I want to give you guys this information right here. Um, uh, we do have a website. It's called uh, scfathersandfamilies.com. That's scfathersandfamilies.com. Uh, you guys can go to that website and get some information as far as child support, um, also, it's www.state.us-dss-csed-calculation.htm. I know that's a lot, so we're going to put that in the comment section so that you guys will be able to click on that link and get some more information as, as far as uh, child support or, or if you want to know information about visitation, I got another website for you. And, and we're going to put all the, the websites in the link by the way, in the comments. But this one is um, scvisitation.com with the forward slash. Um, uh, you guys get a lot of information on visitation as well. I, I know we've had a, a lot of fathers reach out to us and ask about visitation and what more could they do. Um, and so those are the websites that we will put in the, in the uh, links on the bottom uh, as soon as the video is, is finished and complete. Um, so, Brother Blathers, we, we don't have a whole lot more time, but is there anything you want to add uh, to, to maybe encourage the fathers or let them know that we're still here or whatever you want to add at this time. I mean, I just want to encourage all fathers to, at this time, just to be there for your kids as much as possible. Also, one thing, take care of yourself as much as possible. Um, review these videos. I know we're putting them out there for, you know, yes, our group sessions and for everyone to complete it. And even mind you, um, at the end of this, there will be an exit survey that we will share in the comment section that we want you to go and do um, online so we'll know that you participated or you watched the video. Um, but just be try to be as mentally tough, mentally strong as you possibly can. Um, and not only take care of your kids, take care of yourself. Um, practice social distancing, practice any guidelines that are presented by the CDC in terms of hand washing, um, making sure everything is, is, is clean within your household. Um, but just, just take some time for yourself, work on you, um, exercise, hydrate, stay mentally strong, find some books to read, and just share some valuable time with your family. Absolutely. And again, I'll reiterate the, uh, the surveys. It will be in the comment section. Please, guys, fill those out for us. It's called an engagement survey. Please fill those out for us, okay? We will greatly appreciate it. Uh, until the next time, you guys stay blessed and uh, stay tuned to this page because we will do more live videos. Thank you so much. Stay positive. Peace.